Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to the dawn of man. It is winter right now, almost over though. It's not going to be too cold for too much longer. The rain is falling, just a light drizzle, it's not too bad. Though the wind chill must be quite crazy, and uh, actually I was wrong. There's a storm going on, so it must actually be rather crap right now. Uh, the rain, it doesn't look all that rainy, but uh, but I hear the lightning and the thunder, so that, that tells me it's actually probably a lot worse than it looks. Anyway... Oh, there, there was a little strike right there. Uh, hoping to have a very successful session right now as we kick things off with a trader who has just arrived. I'm going to make sure that uh, this trader doesn't leave us. So let's take a quick look and see what they have. We could get ourselves a couple of horses to kick things off. Or maybe we get ourselves some tin ore and make sure that we have plenty of tin ore. Again, just trying to maximize our rate of uh, production. We can get rid of some wool over here and get rid of some straw as well, I believe, without struggling too much after the fact. So let's go ahead and do that, get ourselves some tin ore, and uh, continue onwards. Now, we find ourselves in a pretty interesting situation. The last session was uh, going relatively smoothly, and I'm actually recording this back-to-back -back with the last session because I'm just having so much fun, and I just kind of wanted to keep playing, uh, and I wanted to get ahead of some other things in my schedule as well, so it made most sense to record back-to-back. -back. I hope you guys don't mind just explaining why I might be missing some of your comments from the last session, but I will go back and read them, of course. Now, uh, we did have a pretty solid session until the end where we lost 10 people to a raid and uh, I had a bit of a rant about how that went down. It's okay though, it's okay. You know, I took a, took a break, had some tea, I relaxed myself and uh, we're back at it. We're going to blow right past the 70 this time around. That welfare is going to skyrocket. Prestige is going to skyrocket. Everything is going to be amazing and we will grow uh, magnificently. Uh, right now, the only stress we have is, uh, well, it's not going to be all that stressful. We're, with this one linen over here, we're going to get some more linen cloth. And that linen cloth is going to make more linen outfits, but it is not going to be enough for... Uh, for our population, especially if it grows over the next couple of seasons. Uh, so what I do need to do is make some more flax fields. We do not have enough. We're making a clearing over here. We've got these trees being cut down, as you can see. A couple of people feeling a little chilly right now, but uh, not much we can do about that. They just need to kind of get back after, after their outings. Um, this guy needs to eat as well, or this lady needs to eat, I should say. Uh, but no, go ahead and chop wood if you want. Now, we're, again, trying to clear this area out, put down some flax again, just to make a little bit of linen, because now we also need linen to make the, uh, the composite bows as well. We're trying to avoid that for now. I was initially trying to make as many as possible, uh, just to replace our old-fashioned bows, but, uh, again, just trying to get the clothes out first now. I also just want to mention really quickly, if we take a look at, oh, really, hypothermia? We're still dealing with hypothermia despite having this massive overage of wool outfits. Probably because I sent somebody chasing after a donkey or something out in the middle of nowhere. Such is life. Such is life. Not much we can do about that, especially because they're already dead. Um, now let's see, let's see. Where, where are we? We're, we're taking care of the fields right now. Someone has died of old age. That's fine. Workload is too high. It's okay. This is probably the last season of workload being too high. Uh, but now is the time to put down the flax. Let's go ahead and for now. Oh, we can put some down over here. That stupid tree is going to block us a little bit. Go ahead and put some down over here. One down over there and let's plant some more down over here. We'll, we'll be able to remove it afterwards. Again, just trying to make sure we have enough linen for the next cycle, because otherwise it'll be pretty rough for us. And I don't need linen to last... Like, I don't need these fields forever. They could probably... They could probably be removed shortly thereafter, and then we might have enough uh, sustainability. Again, the reason why we're in this position is because I traded out some of our clothes. Literally stripped the clothes off the back of our people to uh, get a technology, I believe. It was horse domestication. It's fine. It's fine. It's a little hot. You just take a couple layers off. You're okay. You'll just like to complain. Uh, now, let's see. Hopefully, welfare will uh, will be okay. It's going to stay a little bit on the low side because we're coming into the hotter months. Uh, spring now, and then you know, a little, it'll stay hot for a little while. That's fine. We will bounce back, though. And again, over here, we've got beer being made. We have this totem that needs to be built up as well. Again, we've got to worship the right totems for the right gods. We need to get some dry skin out. Imka has contracted a disease. Why? Why are we more easily diseased lately? 
Hopefully this doesn't kill you. Hopefully this doesn't kill you. Now mud we've got plenty of as well. Apparently we've hit another knowledge point with that. Uh, we can do a little bit more fishing. I believe there's a fishing knowledge point right around the corner actually. Let's go ahead and fish. Fish and fish. Five new humans have joined the settlement. That's excellent. And they are looking for tools. Oh no, they're looking to get wool outfits. Really? You want wool in the spring? I mean, I guess early spring can be pretty chilly. Then again, I'm in I'm in Canada, so every season can be very chilly. My my scope of climate is very different from the average uh, scope of climate. Uh, let's see, what else have we got going on here? We've got eight donkeys, four horses. How many carts do we have? I wish I could actually check how many carts. In fact, I might be able to. Go. No, that's not what I meant. I meant manage. Uh, transport. Stats, perhaps? No, that's that. Resources. Um, cart, cart, cart. No, carts are not over here. This is just equipment and actual resources. Yeah, I, I, I guess maybe, maybe not. That's fine. That's fine. And the other thing I wanted to address, actually hovering over defenses, reminds me. So at the end of the last session, I was kind of looking at uh, the word uh, fortify or reinforce fortifications. And I was like, where is that? Where is that? That's because it's over here. Reinforced fortifications comes in the uh, Iron Age. And I guess that's like steel reinforcements, like like metal, metal reinforcements. Wow, this disease is really kind of spreading a little bit. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, boy. Going to get bone. Hmm. I hope that's to make some kind of concoction that'll heal you. Otherwise, I'm not very happy about the situation. I'm not sure why we're getting this much disease. Are we eating spoiled food or something? Is that uh, that the cause for disease? I haven't seen... I uh, haven't seen anything about, uh, about disease. Let's see. Health. Conditions. Oh, we're right there. So health. Um... Let's see, disease. I wish there was a little search function over here. Cause I'm not, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure why, why they'd be getting... They're all getting very, very sick. Just by generic disease as well, so it's not anything specific. I wonder if it's like morale reasons or, yeah, that... Oh, well, it's not good. How many people here have this disease? And is it going to act as a bit of a plague and wipe us out significantly? Because that would not be ideal. We have relatively decent living standards, I would say. I mean, a little while ago, maybe not so much. We lack... Yeah, so now we want light clothing. Is is feeling too warm a disease? Is that what's, is that what's going on right now? Are they, are they getting some weird mining-related disease? Because we're mining so heavily lately? Is... What could it be? <laughs> what could it be? As long as it doesn't kill anybody. Ho hopefully they'll just rest, eat, and they'll be okay. Now, we need to take care of the log situation. Let's go ahead and put down another tree cutting area, I think. Like, we're cutting these trees down, but I don't know if that's enough, to be perfectly honest. Like, where's our... There it is. Got four people, three trees. Let's go ahead and... Um... Oh, we've got these trees back here as well. These will be marked for removal, so people will be coming through hopefully to do that. Um, I guess we could get rid of all these trees back here. Let's go ahead and put down a uh, tree cutting area. There we go. Workload's too high right now, but uh, once all the fields have been tended to, that should be okay. Step that up to three people. Alright, let's speed time up a little bit while we uh, continue to tend to the fields and make beer and have this cow just rest on these fields. Why not? Yeah, no, Marzor has died of a disease. Guess we're being hit by a bit of an epidemic. I'm not, uh... And that's probably what's affecting our welfare so much in Party Town. God. It's been quite the party, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been quite the party every session for the last three or four sessions. Hey, um, yeah, hopefully we don't start wiping out because of this uh, epidemic of diseases. We have a couple of people that are feeling ill. Look, if you're unhappy, don't go after the sheep. If you're unhappy. 
it'll replenish your morale. And we've we, this, these comments have been going back and forth a little bit uh, in the comments over the last couple of uh, episodes, the last handful of episodes, about how these people prioritize their needs. I'd initially have assumed that it's based on the actual, you know, hierarchy of needs. Um, and that they would care for the right things at the right times, but it seems that they put work before some very important aspects of living, which many people do. Uh, God knows I'm one prone to doing that, but it feels like the entire population of this humble little village does that, so I don't know how suitable that is. Uh, it might just be dependent on... What in the... What did you just... You just killed that donkey. I understand it was old, but holy crap, man. <laughs> trying to build some walls over here. Jeez. This, and this poor horse had to watch it happen? She's probably thinking, damn, what did that donkey do wrong? Is it because it was a donkey? That's dark, man. That's dark. Anyway, um... Back on topic. I kind of got... I'm let myself get distracted there. Uh, hopefully people start taking care of themselves a bit better. I mean... I, I don't know what multitude of factors are contributing to this uh, weird hierarchy, apart from when I say something is a priority. Last goat has died. Damn, we gotta get more goats. I guess I didn't have a breeding pair for a while now. These are deer. I'm definitely not a goat. Mouflon is sheep. We're looking for ibex. Could hunt some horses as well. I'm not really interested in doing that right now. I've got lots of knowledge points. I, I could use more. You can always use more knowledge points, but I want to get my goat population back up. Uh, ooh. Well, when they're rummaging, rolling, roiling, rolling, walking, traveling through my lands like this, I might as well. I just need one. All right. Anybody here who's a hunter? You. You know what? I'm going to give it some time. People are not super happy right now. That knowledge point, we can get it a little later. It's not the end of the world. It is sincerely not the end of the world. Uh, let us, though, look for goats. Let's look for goats. Because with goats, I can just assign... Uh, I can just say, yeah, someone go catch this. And, and someone will go eventually. And, and someone will someone will get it. Uh, these are mouflon. So sheep. Ooh, that's a beefy looking bear. What have we got back here? Ibex, where are you? Maybe in the summertime. Hey, Trader, do you have any linen perchance? Because I would very happily get some linen off of you. No, you've got wool, though. You've got wool. Oh, no, you do have linen. There we go. Excellent. That that will help us significantly. Uh, what else should I get here? Nothing else seems necessary. I've got enough donkeys. I've got enough breeding donkeys. That's fine. Um, for 22... I'll give you, I'll give you one copper spear, two copper spears, and some fish. Be gone. All right. Good. We're fine here. We're still, we're done with mud there. Let's go ahead with that. Okay, we're fine fishing, fishing. All right, good stuff. Yeah, the lack of light, light clothing. That's eh, not the worst. And I feel like most people have healed from their disease, their temporary afflictions, hopefully. I wish it would say that such and such has, you know, been cured from their disease. And let's, uh, let's keep those eyes peeled for, for goats. I did kind of let that population die out a little too easily. Oh, are you... No. Oh, yes. Let's go. Young female. Young female. Young male. Perfect. Perfect. Workload is too high. Yeah, I'm uh, a little aware of that. We are harvesting these pulses right now. We don't necessarily need to because we've got enough bread to last us for a while. So I could actually deprioritize some of these. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to set them to not normal priority. I'd like to get those donkeys. And then we've got these walls that those I would say are a higher priority. You are ooh, you're also. And you're closer. Go ahead and cancel that. We've got two, three. Come on. 
Please send people who are nearby. Please don't be silly about this. All right, I think we have these walls being built over here. Got some new cows inbound, excellent. And you're here with sticks, okay, no. And we've got that knowledge point from the fruit. We saw that coming in a couple seasons, and here it is. Um, and we could get some more cows if we want. I don't think we really need to, though. It's funny, though, our sheep population exploded very readily, and now it's kind of... I guess we do call them. We have a limit set on them, so I guess we call them fairly often. Are we sending people to capture? Because that would be fantastic. Anybody? Anybody? No, we're taking our time. I wish you could set them to capture and then also set them as a priority, because... Then at least I'd, I'd know that it's happening. All right, these people are starting to finish these walls off. You there. You. Go. All right. There we go. You've got one. Just keeping my eyes out for other people that are maybe heading in that direction. That was absolutely gorgeous. I do like that the birds cast this shadow as well. It really does look nice. And I mean, obviously, it's just the same lighting engine doing its work, but still, it looks nice. Oh, two new humans were born. Excellent. Hopefully, they're not diseased. Uh, these walls can wait their turn. That's fine. These walls are almost completed. This wall over here is not a priority, so I should probably get that. That's three pieces. Go, set to high priority. You're fine over here. Pig has contracted a disease. Great. And we have yet another new human born. Wow, our pigs are probably going to die out at this rate, so we should probably keep an eye out for boars as well. It's like everything, we, we did a good job with the sheep. We, we really made a sustainable population there, but everything else, not so much. Uh, donkeys. Donkeys were fine. Horses I could probably use more of as well. Anybody in this area? Anybody who goes towards this... Uh, oh, hello. Hmm. You've got bread on you, so you can sit anywhere and eat. Going after Ibex. Oh, so you're actually going to capture one. Good. Good. And you? Going after Ibex as well. And you're carrying fish, so you can just sit down and eat if you need to. Right? That's how this works? Though it's raw fish. I don't know why you'd carry raw fish when we have dry fish. Like, do you have to cook fish? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, do they eat sushi? Is this a sushi-eating culture? A sushi-eating people? Now, let's edit this and shrink it down. So we can focus on this part of rock first. We've finally started actually using the rock as well, which is nice. And the next thing we're going to do is, uh, again, put down some watchtowers. Hopefully after the harvest season for this flax is done, I can put down some watchtowers in the area and protect ourselves without actually having to risk our lives. Alright, let's go ahead and get some mud coming out. We actually have a lot of mud. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, we'll keep it for now, but we might be able to cool on the on the mud collecting. Alright, we're good, we're good. What are you carrying from back there? Wood, of course. These trees, very quick to come back. Very quick to come back. We got rid of the stone first. And back here, we can get rid of some stone as well to make some room over here. I don't know if I can put a field here, actually. Let's quickly check it out. Uh, if I were to put down... They have flax field. Oh, you know what? I should clear these stones out. First. They're closer, they're easier to get to, and uh, we can put a... We can put a field in the area. Alright, ten bronze spheres. That's another knowledge point. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now we're getting bronze knives happening. And over here, we're getting some more bronze swords happening. There's number 10. Excellent. I'm wondering if I make some more carts or if I make some more fishing rods so we're acquiring fish better. Nah, I don't want to waste linen right now. Do not want to waste linen right now. We need to get these... Set this to a high priority. We need clothes. Because the fact of the matter is the, the three linen here has not been converted to linen outfits yet. And... That's why more people are less happy about their current situation. Let's hurry that up. Hurry that up. Hopefully our goat population... Yeah, we got three goats. Uh, do we have anybody out here still? Yeah, you're out here. Cheering sheep for some reason. Go ahead. Let's have you capturing some pigs. Hopefully you'll be the one to go after them. 
just see the one youngling. Some more goats to be had here if we wanted. Coming around back that way. It's pretty far, actually. It's pretty far. Kind of want to wait until they're a little bit closer, if I'm perfectly honest. I hate venturing out too far. Because, uh... Then people decide to ignore... Their more base requirements, such as food. And they die. I think this is about as far as I'm willing to go... Without uh, giving more specific orders, without being directly in charge. Go ahead and get this boar and this boar as well. Okay. Gonna hit harvest season soon, so... Better hurry up with that. Alright, I think the walls are almost done. We got these walls... Still to go. Beat it up a little bit. And we got these walls here still to go. And this seems to have not worked. Okay, great. Recycle that. We'll fix this. This better work once this is finished. I hope this will work. Let's see. Uh, if I place... Palisade, I guess I could put it down over here. Wondering if I put one down over here, if they'll connect... Let's try that. Yep, no need to recycle this after all. Go ahead and set you as a high priority. And then let's go ahead and build another one over here. Hopefully that'll connect that. There we go. Make you a high priority. And as soon as this harvest is done, we will go ahead and uh, put down the watchtowers. I don't think I can build watchtowers over top of a field. Um, yeah, no. We could put it over here. It doesn't necessarily block the entirety of this path. I don't like how asymmetrical it ends up being. Put one right over here. <laughs> a little intimidating. Very Panopticon-ish. You know, you kind of walk in, you know right away you're being watched. You know what? I don't actually mind that. It's pretty typical to put side by side, but I don't mind the central position. Just letting you know that you're being watched. And that way I can get three down in the area. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, one... <laughs> Over here, one over here, and the one over here will wait until this field is done. Plus, it makes it a bit harder to come through. All right, another donkey's born. Excellent. Excellent. Let's let life go on for a little bit. Looks like we're not being overworked, supposedly. Yeah, we've got a lot of unproductive children here. It's okay. Once uh, the the Cutting is done, they go in and they pick up all the, you know, goods and stuff that have been left behind. They're not able to use... Oh, I meant to cancel you. They're not able to use, um... Carts, though, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I think children should be able to re uh, lead donkeys just fine. Depending on the age, obviously, I wouldn't be surprised if many of them do. Like, if you're, if you're able to shepherd and you're able to... Anyway... I assume too much of these children. <laughs> they should be able to lead carts, though, I think. On which note, let's get ourselves some more carts. We've got enough leather and skin and stuff, so let's get some more carts. They're very handy in helping speed us up. Wow, that watchtower went up very quickly. That watchtower went up faster than these high-priority palisades did. Because we're not chopping down wood. That's why. I'm gonna do this. It's time to make a clearing over here. It'll speed us up. It'll just speed us up. Ooh, we've also got some ore we can capture. Go ahead and replenish our uh, population a little bit. Um, Where are you going? Going to drink. Nah, to hell with your drink. Uh, actually, these guys are moving right now, so maybe not to hell with your drink. I'll let, I'll let uh, the game take charge over there with that. Again, I don't want anybody traveling and dying on their way out. Oh, or I could just get pigs like this. We've got 86 wool outfits. I could get rid of 16, I think, comfortably. Let's get rid of the wool first. Uh, so, I could do that. And I could do that, get the ore. And then we can get rid of 
I don't mind losing all my wool because I've already got enough wool outfits. I've got a surplus of wool outfits. So we do that. I don't want to get rid of linen. I do... Or I am okay with getting rid of up to 16. So let's go ahead and do this and then 8. I don't, I don't know why I still have that sling. Uh, sure. How about some cured meat? Do that and anything else we want from here? Not really. Not particularly. Yeah, but I, I need to be a lot more on top of the wood situation because I'm just... Uh, that is being the bottleneck with my uh, metalsmiths and everything. It's the it's the wood. The lack of tree cutting is costing me. We can actually get some wood cutting happening over here as well. Start emptying this. Carry the wood from here for this industrial section. So let's go ahead and place that as well. Um, cut down trees from over here. And that can be four people. Four people over there. And over here as well. We could set it to be four people instead. There. Take care of the harvest first, obviously. That's all high priority. The linen's being taken. We got seven, what, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times two is twenty-two. Twenty-two plus forty-six is sixty-eight. Damn. Still not enough. Still not enough. Was hoping a trader would come through with some more. Oh, some people are dying of old age. Good, good, good. Don't need clothes for them. <laughs> Maybe a dark way of thinking, but just being honest. Cut this birch tree down. And remove this plant over here so we can build ourselves another watchtower in the area. Yeah, this looks about right. Boom. Like that. As long as these carts can still make their way through, and it does look like it. They probably clipped through visually, but, you know, as long as they can make their way through. Oh, maybe they can't. We'll see what happens over here. We'll see what happens over here. Like, it'd be kind of bad if they have to go here and then go all the way around just to enter the town. In which case, I'll probably take this one down. As much as I like the uh, the visual, the thought of it is pretty funny, but uh, I might need to get rid of that. Let's see what we do here. We'll figure that out. Up here, are we moving up to cut down some trees? That's what I would imagine. Yeah, we're chopping down some trees. Okay, good stuff. Bring some more logs in. We've got 11, but that is obviously not enough. Uh, all of this has been taken care of. All of our defenses, defenses sorry, have been built. So we can go ahead and make them out of stone instead. We've got plenty of stone pieces. We've got plenty of stone pieces. I am really concerned about the uh, linen situation. Hmm. Get rid of that oak tree. Cancel the mining back here. I can put a flax field down over here once this tree gets chopped down. Because, I mean, all that's going to happen is we're going to get even more people um, immigrating and being born and stuff. So I'll, I'll need more linen. I really assumed... I don't know why. I should have just done the math. should have just crunched the numbers. I assumed this would have been okay, but I was wrong. I was wrong, and for that I will pay... The summer. Oh, good. We got a new baby horse. Excellent. Hopefully no one's going to die of hypothermia chasing after animals over here. I should cancel those orders. It looks like they got away or became adults. So that's fine. That's fine. Got three goats. Hopefully we get some more goats being born soon. Goats. Where are you, goats? Do you have one young female? I thought we had two females and a male. Two young females. Wait, three young females. Damn. <laughs> I need a male goat. I need a male goat, damn it. <laughs> you can't make babies with three female goats. That's not how it works. Um. Hmm. Could have I mean. Either it got away or I uh or I just uh 
didn't notice. Or I didn't have the option. Well, that's, that's also a potential. Alright, well... We'll, we'll keep our eyes out for more goats. Oh, that's a mouflon. I should say ibexes. Ooh, hello. I said hello. There we go. Young male. Come here, young man. And you, another young man. And an oh, damn. This family. This family does not have a future. Unless it's a kind of dark and grim one. Slightly maybe gross. By our standards. Let's speed time up a little bit. I mean, they'll, they'll find. They'll find other goats among themselves. Okay, we've got more than... Food is not a problem. Food is not a problem. Warm clothes, not a problem. The, it's the linen clothes. The linen clothes. Okay, so that cart did get through. We'll see what happens on the way back. This cart seems to have gotten through as well, but I think this got completed just moments ago. You, rather than repair you, we're going to upgrade you. People are able to pass through. And it looks like uh, people are going down here to clear this area out. Excellent. Did that rather quickly, didn't you? Edit this work area, move it up here. Let's see where you go. Let's see where you go. <laughs> right, possibly just to this stack over here. I mean, that makes sense to me. Oh, yeah. Okay, looks like we can pass through here. Good, I'm glad I saw that. And trader. My good trader. Doth thou bringest linen? No. You do bring goats. You do bring goats. What can we get rid of? We have... I can get rid of 15 wool outfits. And I do have some wool cloth I'd get rid of first. We can actually get rid of some stone. Even though I'm about to use stone real hard. Okay. For you, let's get rid of our wool cloth. Okay. Get them there. Nah, I don't think I want to do that. Just in case we get a mass, like, migration happening. Let's get rid of, like, some bronze spears or bronze swords or something. Worth so much more. To them. Get rid of some bread. Some of it's probably pretty spoilt as well. Go ahead and do that. I have a lot of meat over here, which I could reduce easily. Alright, just 80 more. 80 more, 80 more. Here are some bows. Uh, you know what? No, I like keeping my distance when battle starts. Okay. There. That sounds good to me. Yes, excellent. So now we don't have to go chasing after goats anymore. Where where do those goats go? Oh, well, it looks like we're getting some. Wow, we're, we're going really far. No, let's just cancel this one. Let's go back. Go back. No need to go all the way out here. You two, where are you going? Going to get a drink. Up in the middle of nowhere. That's fine. Just don't get mauled by like a bear or something. This is literally a watering hole. All these animals coming through to drink. <laughs> let's pull back. And I wonder if I should give the order to uh, upgrade everything over here. Those are all the new goats we just got. Adult female, adult male, adult male, adult female. Okay, cool. Two and two. That should be a sustainable population, I hope. Our pigs are okay as well. We don't have to go capturing anything anymore. We're back to being just fine. Back to being just fine. Wait, what the hell is... Oh, glint. Okay, I was like, what was that weird blue-ish tint? Over here, the tin mine is still fine. And what about over here? Copper mine is almost done. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get another copper mine happening. Right down here. I might actually want to get another one as well. Uh, copper mines are with blue veins. Gray or like orange with blue veins. Oh, there's another one right here. We need it eventually anyway. At least this way we can have more people working them. 19 logs is all we have. We've got this area selected over there. Okay, excellent. And then back here, we've cleared all this, but over here, we're clearing all of this as well. Where is our little marker? There it is. Oh yeah, we've got, that's a big, big space. Cool. Let's go ahead and give the upgrade command because I, I feel like we have a lot of people who are doing nothing. 
I mean, sure, they're children, but they are doing nothing. Or do we wait until... Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait until the next raider attack. Because I am not about to get caught with my pants down with these walls half constructed and the uh, raiders are able to just waltz right through. That would suck. I don't want that. Meanwhile, up over here, let's go ahead and plant our flax field. No longer will we hear complaints of uh, not enough light clothing. I think that's good enough. Yeah, it's got to be good enough. Five, two, four, five by four. That's 20. We got 20 over here. Right? We got... Eight, nine, ten. So 30. We got 30 pieces of linen coming through. 36 pieces of linen times two is 60, 72. That's more than enough linen outfits. So that should be more than enough blacks. It'll take some time to get, but we should be fine. And after that, we can continue down this valley for some more farming. Cool. Speed time up a little bit. All right. Everything's going nice and smooth. Nothing to worry about all that much. I uh, get some more bronze knives happening. I was just thinking I gave away a lot of knives, so I should probably get those done. We've got all these carts being made over here. I think one more left to go. I think all of our animals are hitched up, I think. And, well, there's another one in case we needed one for this cart. Just in case. We don't have enough skin, though. So let's go ahead and maybe kill one of our cows. Old female. See if we can't find an adult male cow to, to kill. Adult female. Young male. No, not about to kill a young male. I think we have more female cows and male cows. Like, unsustainably more. Well, maybe we do just kill an adult female cow. I'll just wait until they age. We're not in that much of a rush, I suppose. For that cart. We've got plenty. I can go hunting. Maybe when, uh, when the winter ends, I can go hunting again. Get some more meat and skin that way. Rather than kill some of our own. Uh, young. Survived another winter. We are very close to entering the Iron Age, actually. We are, what, five, what? There it is. Five knowledge points away. Another cattle. Another another cow. Hopefully. Young female. Lots of, lots of female cows. Lots of female cows. Go ahead and make this a priority. Please. And we've got some boar over here that we could hunt. Some of our own pigs are actually getting pretty old, ready to die. Ready to call it quits. What are you? Are you a... Okay, you're a dog. I was like, are you a wolf? You look a little wolfy. And that's not inaccurate. It does look a little wolfy. Ooh, you look... You're all children, aren't you? We have no picks. Damn, I did not stay on top of picks. Let's go ahead and make some picks. Uh, we're going to have to make flint picks. Let's go ahead and make some flint picks. I, I just don't stay on top of my resources enough. That's definitely a problem. Definitely a problem. Do you have any hunters in here? A few. Go and hunt. Let's go and hunt. And again, waiting for a raider attack before I uh, upgrade all of our walls. Waiting for one more raider attack. Okay, they're going around that way. We have some hunters over here, maybe. No, no hunters over here. Okay, it's fine. Back over here, we're working the fields here. Hopefully the children are as well. We are not seeing too much of a workload, so that's good. Welfare's up to 88%, prestige up at 284. We got one. Go ahead and get another. Go ahead and get this one. I'm aware. Down you go. Go ahead and get another. Because these give us what? Two skin, raw meat, and some bone. Feel a little bad for these younglings we're leaving. You know what? Maybe we don't leave them. All 
All right. They're like literally right here. Or hey, they're coming closer to us, so sure. Go ahead and do that. You are leaving, so that's fine. You can go ahead and leave. All right, moving on, moving on. Last season of lacking uh, light clothing is a promise I'm making to my people. Hopefully one I can keep. All right, there's a raider attack. Where are you coming from? Up over here. All right, let's sound the alarm. Hurry up, hurry up. Everybody back, you're going to get a bow. You're all going to get bows. The bows are all being stored over here. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Hopefully we can get back. We can get into the towers. You have a bow. You better have bows. A lot of tired people. Really, you're... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this works out for us. You're gonna walk that slowly. You're gonna die. At least they have to go around the bend. See, and we're gonna lose all these animals again. We're gonna lose all these animals again. Because these raiders will ruin them. The pig has died of old age. <laughs> Now's the time for that. The pig's just like, I don't want to deal with another raid. I'm leaving. Yeah, we're going to definitely lose these two donkeys over here. A third donkey over here. Probably lose some people as well. Yeah, of course. This fool's going on a bit of a suicide run. We're going to have to close the gates soon. I'm waiting to see how many people can actually get back here. No, stop. Stop going out. Stop going out. This is foolish. Like, why? Why would you go out? And it's not like they all went out at once. They were, like, trickling out. It's like, why would you... Why would you do that? At least we didn't lose any of the donkeys. Oh, no. We did. More of you? You all dead? Yeah, you're all dead. Want some big migration going on? Like, I built these walls. Come behind the walls. Stay behind the walls. Once everybody gets behind the walls, we'll close the gates. And we'll fight them from our towers that I've literally specifically built to shoot at them as they come up the bridge. It's very simple. It's very simple. People with their minds of their own. Not helping anybody. I'm trying to figure out, like, clearly I'm, like, missing out on or misunderstanding a mechanic over here that's making all these people do these foolish things. This has got to be something very obvious, because well, that was a massive drop in population again. Anyway, let's go ahead and upgrade these walls. It, it almost makes me wonder what's the what's the point of these walls. <laughs> like I should I should make a little fort here instead, where everybody rushes to. And again, I wish I could say that no, don't store weapons over here. Instead, store them back over here. This is where we need the weapons to be stored. But uh, no, I guess I guess I can't do that. Don't need a bow over here. Anyway. You can, you can hear the frustration in my voice, I know. Because I am frustrated. Go ahead and upgrade all this stuff. Now's the chance, so let's do it. Uh, I think I missed a couple over here. Oh, I'd rather overlap than not. 
workload is too high. It's okay. This is for survival. Fine. Oh, we have a little bit of a hunt or something going on over here? No, no, I think it's just because we're up here with a person. Man. Alright, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. little sad and, and if anybody in the comments knows what's going on and you know why this is the case please inform me I assumed that once we had the gate in people would all tuck behind the gate didn't happen okay I assumed once we had the watchtowers in people would get into the watchtowers and they did but I feel like the people in the watchtowers weren't even able to fire because everybody went out on the bridge to engage before range was closed. So it's like, do I have to put a tower over here? But then the tower will just get attacked first and everybody else will be back over here. Do I have to put walls down and a tower over here? But then that's just dumb. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can surround this little section as well with walls and, uh, and keep this safe separately, but the raiders aren't attacking this outside of the animals. Fair, I can you know, do this because there's a lot of animals in the area. Fine, but... I feel like I have no guarantee that it'll actually work in any way, shape, or form. God damn. Alright. Well, let's see. What can we do here? There's also weird terrain that we can't build walls on, but uh, people can walk through. So that's always helpful, obviously. And I... Go around this way, so we can... Th this is all fine, this is not a problem. We can clear out these stones and all. This we obviously can't clear out, but then I built this in a way that blocks us over there. Um, and I can't go over, looks like. Oh, maybe I can? No, I can't, because of this steep area. But people can walk that steep area. No one's been stopped by that. But putting a wall here is useless. I guess I could put a wall up over here. Doesn't look like it'll run... Connected. Uh, yeah, it looks mostly connected. Uh, I could do something like that. And then I could come... Nope, this is too steep. Do that. I could do that. Nope, this area is just can't be built upon. And again, as we've seen... When I put stuff down using this uh, terrain as an obstruction, it doesn't do anything. So, I mean, I could just destroy the storage hut, recycle it, and then build a warehouse maybe over here instead. Just so I'll have the room to run a wall behind this and then through the gap over here and around just to keep this area safe. Might as well go ahead and recycle that. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll see how long it takes for these to be upgraded as well. At least they're being ripped down quickly enough. Hopefully they'll build them up just as quickly. High priority. We can't leave this barren for too long. High priority, come on. New, new donkeys, new pigs, that's all great. A couple or a handful of new people have migrated in as well, so that's great. Setting high priority as I go along. New cows. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. I think some of these are still not high priority because they were dismantled in a different order. Fine. New human was born. Excellent. Man, in here I thought we were going to hit 70 this session, but no. Gotta run up onto the bridge. Ooh. Here come the stone walls, though. Using the stone up real fast. At least that means we'll start mining again. Damn. This looks pretty neat. This looks pretty neat. You know, if we actually use it. Alright, good stuff. Stuff stone coming through. Hopefully you're delivering it to the various construction sites. Trader has arrived. Do you bring people? No, you bring donkeys though. Sometimes I feel like my people are donkeys. Alright, let's get some tin ore in here. Get some bows. Nah. Make our own bows. 31. I almost, like, want to get rid of our swords so people don't go looking for them. 
Um, yeah, sure. Go ahead and take our axes. We can make more axes. And we have picks. We've got two picks, two flint picks. And then we'll get uh, bronze picks happening as well. All right, what's the deal over here? No. No. None of this. None of this over here. There. Workload is too high. Is it uh, harvest season for all the pulses? Tempted to almost say, don't bother. But they'll, they'll keep coming back. I've set it to not high, or it's rather... It hasn't been set to a high priority, so people should probably not be bothering all that much with it. Alright, good. These walls are still being taken down. We're fine in terms of food. Food is not a concern. It's defenses now. We've graduated to our next concern. Feels good? <laughs> Question mark. Stone is at zero. It's okay. We've got people mining. Plenty of stone to be had here. I wish upgrade meant do it all at once, rather than dismantle, go, get resource, come back, upgrade. Just my two cents doesn't make sense, because you're not upgrading. You're you're breaking it, leaving it broken, even though we don't have the resource to replace it, and you're coming in and replacing it. Eh, so kind of a... Uh, I mean, I get it, yeah, I can obviously wait until I have the resources amassed, but when I say upgrade, I imagine it to mean something because of, uh, you know, the definition of the word. Because what just happened here isn't an upgrade, it's a, it's a dismantling. Okay, there we go. High priority across the board. High priority. Get the stone. Get that stone. Speed it up a little bit. New human was born as well, so at least we're back up at 60. We have, it's like, we have just as many animals as we have uh, people. Trader has arrived. It's harvest season. Uh, if I could pick the trader, then I could trade with him. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Let's get some tin ore. I don't want your bows. You know what? Let's get your picks. Get your top picks. Wow, that's actually a lot of logs. More. I think that's the most logs we've ever had. Um, I think I can get rid of. Oh, what do I want to get rid of? Not bother with that. I mean, I can make my own picks. This might be a useless trade. Let's go ahead and do that. Because at least with the picks, I can get my own ore. Give you a bread. There. Be on your way. Be on your way. Got plenty of wool outfits. You know, if we ever even get to that population. We are one step away from the Iron Age. One step away. We might want to take our time with that. Like, we're progressing through the ages much faster than we're progressing um, in population count. Goddamn bridge. I, I will... I think I'll forever be annoyed at that. And it looks like we no longer need... Go ahead and uh, upgrade this. Yeah, we no longer need mud. Copper mine exhausted. It's okay, we saw that coming. Has been completely cleared out as well. Alright, fair enough. Actually, you know what? Cancel that upgrade. Let's get these walls done first. Get these walls done first. Stone is coming. Where does the stone go? Stone gets brought back. And does it stay here for other people to pick up from? Ooh, two new humans? How many? Just two? Damn. Wolf attack. God damn. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Wolf seems to be leaving, not so much attacking. Going after Wolf. Get away. No comment. <laughs> no comment. All right. Got harvest going on back over here. It's mid-fall. 
I'm going to actually maybe reduce the priority of some of these. Nah, we're halfway. We should be able to get it all done. I'm just most mostly concerned about the linen. You know what? No, let's go ahead and... That's normal priority. This is high priority. Let's get all the, uh, the flax harvested. And how many sickles do we have? We've got 18 sickles. We could get some more sickles. Helps with the harvesting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we still need ten for a knowledge point. And if not, I'm just getting ten anyway. Yeah, we need ten of them. That'll help us. Actually, we do have enough to enter the uh, the Iron Age. But am I ready for it? Am I ready for it? I'm gonna wait until all these walls get built. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach myself some patience. Want all these walls built before I even consider entering the next stage. Before I even consider entering the uh, next stage. And this has been dismantled. Okay, great. Fantastic. So we can, in fact, yeah, come through here. Like that. That tree will have to be cut down. Or we can go around it. Alright, so that should be pretty continuous. No, we cannot build there. Fair enough. We can do that instead. Yeah, that's continuous. This tree needs to be chopped down. That's fine. Okay, fine with that. I didn't say stone, right? Yeah. Go ahead and build. More stone. Wall over this way. No, it looks like we're going to have to go around this way. Because there's a little patch here that we can't. More. Uh, almost tempted to go straight. Do. Let's go ahead and do that. And then put down more stone like this. We can go around this little uh, rocky area here. Rocky area, this stone. I wish it didn't double up like that. Okay. Do that, and then let's go ahead and... doubling up like that. Nowhere else. Yeah, it doesn't need to double up. So fine. Fine. I just keep assigning more. It's like I understand the workload's too high, but you know what? I need to get this down so people do it first. Before they go do other useless things. So, I mean, I don't want to waste all this space. I still want to use this for building. So we'll go straight. And then we'll go straight down here as well. I believe I need to... Oh, I can do that. Cancel you, cancel you. Okay, and one more. Boom, there, does the trick. Now over here, this hasn't been connected, so let's go ahead and do that. Excellent. Cool. Now, we can actually chop this stone down as well. Main stone. All of this nonsense. Right? Yeah, four people working this. This has been filled up. I'd rather it not be. Much better places for all these things. 
We time up again. Let's try and get this stuff done over here. And I wish I could set priority for uh, for this as well. Like get an area and make it a make it a high priority area. New human born, new animals being born. It is winter time. We got a bunch of linen, so we're good there. We've got a bunch of food, so we're good there. New pigs, new donkeys. What is our animal count actually? We need more stables, or we could just kill one. Let's get our cattle culling. Let's get our cattle down to 15. I think 15 is a safe enough number. And same with the pigs. Down to 15. And we can change that later on when uh, when our population grows larger. It's okay. We're about to solve this problem right now in a way that I probably should have solved earlier, but I haven't felt the need for it. All right. This is all getting built up. This piece is kind of an important one. So please. Alright, workload is still too high. Uh, we've got some planting going on in the winter, of course. Come on. No, okay, yeah, we've got someone mining over here. I was about to say no one seems to be mining this area. We've got someone mining this as well. Two people mining this. Okay, excellent. We've acquired a hundred stone. All right, all right. Traders are coming through. Let's see what they have for us. What do you got for us? I don't need goats. I don't need tin ore. I don't, I don't think I need any of your stuff. Yeah. I think I'm fine. I guess I could get some copper ore. Value of nine. There, have have all this meat. Because we're about to get a lot more as we go about culling our uh, our animals here. All right, everything seems to be okay. We do still need sticks. I was like, do we really still need to gather sticks? But yeah, yeah, we do. We do. Okay, we got all these being chopped down. I'm actually wondering if I should arrange this a little differently. Get some more space over here. Get it like that. And then that. There. Yeah, just a little bit more space. So when we get rid of the stone over here, we'll have some more room to build sense to me. Makes sense to me. Alright, well this is ongoing here. This will still take a little bit of time it would seem. We're getting stone at a decent time, uh, decent pace. Got a few more humans joining us as well, so that's good. Winter is almost over. Uh, and like I said, I have enough knowledge points to enter the Iron Age, but I was going to wait until this is all done before I did so. Just to, just to keep myself in check, really. Just to keep myself in check. But I'm starting to wonder if I do really want to do that, or if I want to just go ahead and jump, uh, jump the gun again. Nah. Patience. Patience, patience. I'm very curious. I wish I could see... Rather than see it like this, I wish I could see, based on task, what people were up to. I could cancel accordingly. Like, you know what? I don't need this gather stick area. Probably. We're butchering, we're feeding animals, we're carrying stuff around. I'm not building anything useless over here. This I should mark for upgrade rather than repair, but I don't want to take stone and people away from the wall project. I want to watch playback and see exactly what went down over here during that uh, raider attack. I want to see how I cat that one up, because... There's got to be something. There's got to be an explanation. And if you know what it is, again, let me know in the comments down below. On that note, though, and with the game saving itself, reminding me that, uh, hey, we've been playing for a while. We have hit that hour mark, so I am going to call it a session. 
Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. As always, if you have, let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. Uh, you know, one like for every lost soul, right? One like for every lost man, woman, and child, and donkey, and horse, everything that, that we've lost to these raiders. I was hoping it'd be... I was hoping we'd be done with that, with all this being finished, but I was mistaken. I was mistaken. Damn, someone could have died because of that. <laughs> On that note, thank you all very much for watching. Once again, a massive thanks goes out, as always, to all of my channel members and patrons for support of the channel on a monthly basis, keeping us alive and running smoothly. It really does make a huge difference. I greatly appreciate it, so thank you very much for that. Uh, until next time, again, thank you for watching, and cheers.